the very first question that would actually be coming to your mind would be, what will you learn from this course? One thing I can promise you that you will get lots of excitement and loads of learning. Just to name a few, we will start with the history of Exadata. I'll actually talk about the evolution of Exadata, how the whole thing about the engineered system started. I'll also take you through a roller coaster ride from, of a journey of Exadata from the year 2008 when the first Exadata was launched till 2018 when the recent Exadata was launched. I'll give you an understanding around the Exadata stack. So I'll basically dissect the complete stack of Exadata and actually talk through the different components, the major components of the Exadata stack. I'll also go through the acronym QFSDP. So this is the major acronym that you need to be aware of if you're working in the world of Exadata. I'll give you some practical demos on how to download patches. So I'll, I will just go to the Metalink site. I'll show you how, what's the best way to download patches, which patches you need to download, how to stage those patches. We'll talk about that and show some demos on that. Give you some understanding around the Exadata versions. So any topic of Exadata uh, patching or upgrades would be incomplete without some discussion around versions because Exadata versions are different from uh, the database versions that most of you would be aware of. Then I'll talk about the Exadata version upgrade rules. They are very, very important. Uh, unlike uh, the uh, database version upgrades, Exadata version upgrades are different. Then we'll start with the very first component of Exadata stack, the Exadata cell server or the storage server. I'll actually talk about what all components are updated in the background, like operating system, firmware, give some information around that. And I'll also talk about the commands and syntax you need to be aware of, what exact commands you need to give. And yes, the exciting thing is I'll give you a practical demo on a ver Oracle VM itself. So you don't need to have an Exadata to practice these commands or to get the look and feel of these commands. I'll actually tell you how you can actually work on these commands on your Oracle VM itself. Then we'll talk about the Exadata compute node patching, the very second uh, component of Exadata stack. Again, in a similar fashion, we'll talk about the components updated, commands and syntax and a practical demo on very important utility, which is used by uh, compute node patching, which is db node update.sh. Then we go to the network layer of uh, Exadata stack and we'll talk about InfiniBand patching, how you can actually log on to your switches, how you can uh, check the version of your switches. Yes, it sounds interesting, I believe. So you'd be patching your uh, InfiniBands or IB switches and some practical demo around uh, the look and feel of the commands, the kind of commands, the kind of syntax you need to run to, to get uh, this patching to be running. Then I will briefly discuss about grid infra and DB patching. I take it most of my audience is actually already working as Oracle DBAs. So you guys are already aware of how you uh, patch the grid infra and the database layer. But I'll still briefly discuss this topic as well. And also talk about the differences between the SPUs, the PSUs, the DBBB or the bundle patches and the new RU and RURs, which is something which has been released from Oracle 12.2 onwards and from 18C onwards, you see a lot of release updates, release update revisions. So I'll talk about the differences between these different uh, kind of patches as well. Then at the end, I'll give you a checklist to which will help you to upgrade a uh, say 12.1 Exadata rack to 12.2. But not only that, it can actually be helpful for any kind of future upgrades as well. Let's say you have to upgrade from 12.2 to 18C in future. So the steps that I've given in uh, the checklist would be actually helpful in that sense as well.